What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. There's some really sad news being released by Dakota from um, Teen Mom OG that's really made me look at Bristol a lot differently. I remember I told you guys before the season aired that I was not a fan of Bristol Palin. Like I don't like her politics. I don't like some of the controversies she and her family have been involved in. So I wasn't happy about her going into the season. But then when I watched the season, she seemed like a really sweet, like shy, nice girl. And so like I actually enjoyed her addition to the cast. But now I am side eyeing girl all over again after her ex husband Dakota revealed on Instagram that he did not even know that his daughter Sailor was being born until he found out about it on Twitter. How repulsive and disgusting is that? Like listen to his Instagram rant about the whole entire situation. He said, and I quote, in response to the conversation Bristol had on a video on the teen mom IG, yes, we got pregnant right after our engagement. We planned a wedding with our families and friends and Bristol decided to leave me a week prior. I spoke with her family every month and made it clear I would be the father of my child. I reached out to her before Sailor was born and asked what the plan was to co-parent. She told me to go through the courts to establish paternity. I wasn't invited to the birth and found out my child was born on Twitter. Can you imagine being a dad and not being allowed to be at your child's birth? She denied my paternity until it could be proven at which point Sailor was born. For Bristol to state that Sailor didn't have a dad is laughable. What really happened is Bristol kept our daughter from having a father present at birth and until the courts ruled that I was her father. I can promise you this. Sailor and Atlee always had a dad and always will have a dad. Yikes, like how incredibly sad is that? I have to say that I am not like surprised. I feel like what he's saying makes sense, especially when you watch the last episode of the season in that he's trying to have a pretty simple conversation with Bristol, but she's insisting that it goes through the lawyers. So to me, the idea of like her insisting that like his paternity goes through the courts rather than it just being obvious that he's the father because they were engaged and monogamous, it seems pretty peak Bristol to me. Um, it's just to me, I, what I don't understand is that this happened prior to them getting married and they, and he still went through with it. Like what? Like that to me just says, you know, like what's wrong with you? The fact that someone would betray you like on a level this hard that, and you would still go ahead and marry them is quite troubling, you know? And not only that, but he continued to have another child with her after this, who is named Atlee. Like all of this on both of their parts is really bizarre, sad, and just plain weird as all get out, right? Like, I, I don't understand what happened here. Bristol has yet to respond to Dakota's accusations, but you know, this is just another day in the life of the Palin like web of weirdness, you guys. I, you know, I've got to reiterate here that I am absolutely not surprised that this is something that Bristol would do to her future husband and that I'm also really disappointed that he not only went forward and married her, but that he went ahead and had another child with her as well. Like it's quite, telling of like how he feels about himself that this is something that he would put up with you guys what do you think about the whole situation involving bristol keeping um dakota from the birth of his own daughter and that he found out about it the same way everyone else did which is on twitter make sure to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat you can also like this video, subscribe for more, feel free to share it with your friends as well, and follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.